for all of you that want to start learning one or more foreign languages in 2024. I share my experience with you in this video and I share the things that you have to consider even before you decide to start to learn one or more languages in 2024. Well, the first thing that we have to discuss here is the motivation and the goals in the language. You have to know that motivation is something that will steer your desire to acquire and learn a foreign language but it definitely has its limits. Motivation usually has its duration and it can last a couple of weeks but if you rely only on motivation on your desire to learn foreign language it will become a disaster at one point because the motivation will decrease with time and if you don't have a sustainable plan for learning a foreign language this will ultimately lead you to a failure in a foreign language. I tell you this from the point of my personal experience because I have already had some failures with foreign languages and I have to say that I succeeded much more than failed in foreign languages. Thus motivation is linked with your goals in a target language. So your goals might be different for each language that you want to acquire. Thus when I used to learn Italian many years ago, my primary goal was to watch TV shows in Italian, to watch these interesting series such as La Piovra, L'Octopus, Incantesimo and others. For my Turkish, for instance, my goal was to be able to communicate a bit with my friends and to be able to go to restaurant, order food or to be able to order a taxi and uh, similar things. For instance, in French, my uh, ultimate goal was to be able to read interesting French literature and uh, writers such as Albert Camus, Guy de Maupassant, then Alexandre Dumas, Émile Zola, Jules Verne, etc, etc, etc. But that was my core idea, to be able to read this interesting literature that was written by these amazing writers. For some of you, some of the goals might be professional, you want to get a job that requires a certain proficiency in the target language, or you want to enroll to university and uh, you have to have at least B2 level in a foreign language that you want to acquire. In all these cases, goals are very important because it will steer your motivation on one hand and on another hand it will lead to ultimate plan, sustainable plan that you will make in order to acquire and learn this foreign language. This plan is for sure necessary in order to be successful in your ultimate goal and that is to reach a certain level of proficiency in this language. Therefore, a cornerstone in order to learn a certain language is to have a certain plan that's written, that's very detailed and that clearly defines your goals your methods, your resources, your routine, a set of activities that are time-bounded and that will ultimately lead to the clearly defined result. The first thing where I start when I want to learn a foreign language is to see how much time you have at your disposal. So to manage your time for working on the language. Obviously, we are all in a sort of different situations. Some of us have a full-time job, someone has families, babies, someone is very flexible or at the university or at the moment is not employed. Therefore, defining the time frame in which you will dedicate yourself towards learning a foreign language 
is really a key towards success in this foreign language. One of the most amazing tips that I can give you while dedicating your time towards learning foreign languages is to connect your already existing habits with your plan towards learning a foreign language. Meaning that use these things that you do every day such as commuting for instance, uh, to listen to a podcast in a foreign language, or you can read an interesting book in your target language, or if you are not at the intermediate level in order to read interesting books, you can use comic books. If you are a beginner, because in comic books you can easily understand the context, but creating this routine is one of the most important things for reaching success in the foreign language. Whether this will be in the morning before your work or any other obligation that you have during the day or in the evening where everything is quiet and when you can relax with instrumental music in the background, it's up onto you. You have to be creative in this process and you have to create certain habits and dedicate your time as much as possible towards improving your skills in the target language. The most important thing for foreign languages is to understand that this is a marathon, not a 100 meters short race, and you have to work every day in order to achieve success. Every day, at least 15 minutes, you have to dedicate this time frame to improving your skills in the foreign language that you opted for. And from my personal experience, I have to say that it is possible to find this time for learning foreign languages since I already using seven languages every day and my plan is to continue doing so in 2024 and even to add one more foreign language in 2024, I think this would be possible. The next thing that you have to think about when you pick the concrete language is the resource or the resources that you will have to use in order to improve your skills in the target language. So depending on the level that you are currently on in this language, I suggest that you focus on two inputs and these are reading and listening to the language. If you are a very beginner in the target language, I suggest finding an introductory course to this language or to find a tutor that will explain to you how the language functions, especially if this language is too distant to the languages that you already speak or you have a certain level of knowledge in these languages. If you already have some knowledge in that language, it is a bit easier than for you and you can already focus on trying to find interesting, the compelling input for you in the target language. Meaning that you will find uh, interesting YouTube channels to follow, whether this is sports activities, channels around sports, about cooking, about traveling, anything that you are interested in, or finding out TV shows that you want to watch in the target language, movies, etc. On the other hand, you have to be focused as well on reading and finding some interesting literature in the target language, which might be a bit complicated. What I used to do when I opt for a certain language in order to learn it, I first do the research of that language about the history, about the similarities with other languages, about best possible ways and methods in order to acquire this language, about resources that are at my disposal, they are on the internet, and of course some of the mostly used resources are YouTube and finding uh, online books if there is an 
institute of that language in your country, I strongly suggest to visit it and become a member of the library if there is one in your country. When you have resources, when you have clearly defined time that you will dedicate to the language during the week or every day, when you have defined the clearly set of the activities that you will do every week, for instance, on Monday I will read 10 pages in German. On uh, Tuesday I will listen to German podcast. On Wednesday I will uh, watch some uh, YouTube videos in German, etc. etc. When you have all these activities, the next step would be to have track records. This is very important thing because track records will keep you engaged and keep you liable to your existing plan. So the thing that I have done is the Excel worksheet in which I have these options to put every language that I work on during the day and then have this uh, time frame that I spend during the day, the sort of activities that I performed in the target language, what is the level of uh, difficulty of this activity and what is the result whether this is still pending the activity that I started or I finished it so track records are very important I would say because it will keep you liable and at the end will lead you to the success in a language because we tend to avoid doing activities after a certain period of time. Like I said, our motivation decreases over time and we have to stick to our defined plan. I hope that this uh, video will help you make your own plan in 2024 for uh, learning foreign languages. And guys, if you like these videos that I make and the YouTube channel, please consider liking them and subscribing to the channel because in this way you will help me to spread the word about language acquisition and best possible methods in order to acquire foreign languages. Thanks for watching, see you in some of the next videos, bye!